Hi, this is Tamsin Fox Davis from TamsinFoxDavis.com and I am here again with another little how-to tip. This is for all you Gmail users out there who are struggling to put social media icons into your Gmail signature and actually have it look nice and I have come up with an answer for you. Okay, so first of all what you need to do is you need to open your Gmail account this is mine right here and you want to go over to the right hand side at the top where it says settings click on settings and scroll down scroll down to where you get signature down here and you've probably got it set to no signature you want to click the bottom button there um, to set up the signature and here's what I'm going to show you how to do so what you need to do first is you need to put in your name your title and then um, you know your other contact details that you want in there so maybe it's your telephone or your um, uh, your website address all that usual stuff then what I like to do is I like to have a um, an action directive title okay what that means is it's just a title that's telling someone to do something so instead of having my social media links which is non action directive I use connect with me on which is asking people to do something saying please connect with me on um, you could even say that you could even say um, please connect with me on and you know that's a that's a nice thing to do but you want to just make it in keeping with with your brand so if you're um, you know if you're more relaxed and chilled out you can be a bit more funky you know like hey hit me up at but if you're um, you know if you're a more kind of serious business then then just keep it nice and simple okay so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to put in these little icons here and the text that goes with them so it looks really pretty but you've still got the um, the text in there so I'm just going to delete these because I'll show you how to do it again okay so first of all what you need to do is you need to go to the insert image button which is this little one that looks like a picture there and as you can see they're going to ask you for an image URL now that just means the web address of where the image that you want to use is. so you've got to go and find your image I like to use iconfinder.com and I'm going to put Twitter in the search box here Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose a set of icons that um, that match. They all look good together, and where they've got a very small version available. So let's have a little look. See, let's look at this one here. Okay, so that one doesn't have different sizes available. Okay, so that one's no good for us. So let's try another one. Let's try um, this one's kind of nice here. This this woody looking one. Okay. So when we click on that one, you can tell there's different sizes available down here. Okay. But that doesn't go small enough. You want one that's about 16 by 16. So we're going to have another look. Um, I'm thinking we're going to have to pick a really simple one to get the small size that we want. So. Um, so let's pick this one here okay perfect perfect because as you scroll down you can see there's a little 16 by 16 down here and if you go over to the left here you can look at um, all the icons in the set to make sure that you can also get the other social media icons that you really need so you know that might be your LinkedIn and your Facebook say okay so we're going to go back to Twitter to start with you want to click on the one for 16 by 16 so it's teeny weeny very very small and what you want to do is go up to that icon in the right size and you want to right click on it scroll down to view image info and you want to highlight here where it says location okay you want to highlight this whole string so starting with HTTP all the way along to the end which will end in a dot PNG okay right click and copy go back into your Google Mail and you've still got that image URL box open paste that the um, URL in there that we've just copied over from icon finder <clears throat> and you'll get a little preview there that shows you what it looks like so click OK 
and there we go we've got our Twitter icon I'm going to go down to the next line I'm going to go back to icon finder <coughs> and I'm going to go for the Facebook icon so clicking on Facebook 16 by 16 we want the nice teeny weeny one right click view image info and highlight the location right click and copy going back into the signature editor click on insert image paste the URL click OK okay so those are a little bit close together so we maybe want to put a line in between them just so it's nice and neat okay I'm gonna go and get the LinkedIn one now so find the LinkedIn icon here it is 16 by 16 and oh you don't have to pick exactly 16 by 16 but it looks best if you've got a small one so um, you know something like like that no bigger I would say than you know 20 um, go view image info where it says location highlight right click and copy go back into Google Mail insert image do paste and click OK okay so we've got our little icons in there now and now what we're going to do is we're going to put in the actual link in text and I'm going to tell you why I'll show you why you have to do it in text because what you can do is you can click on that image and using this little chain link symbol here you can actually insert a link in there so I'm going to I'm going to link this to my um, Twitter account which is twitter.com and then slash your username mine's tamtam10,000 don't forget to take the at sign off okay so then when you click OK what you can see you get here is this Twitter link um, this Twitter image has got a funny box around it I don't think that looks very good so I'm going to remove that link I don't want that there what we're going to do is we're going to have it looking really nice and neat with um, a uh, just a text instead a text link next to it so there's two ways you can do this you can either just put your Twitter name like that or you can have the full twitter.com slash temtem10000 now I think let's just go for the username here so let's just go for tamtam10000 then what we need to do is highlight that click on the insert link and this is where we put the full link in okay see doesn't that look smart then we're going to do Facebook so for me that's going to be small biz marketing mentor and I'm going to go and get that URL so looking at Facebook copy and highlight that press the link button paste that in there okay and then LinkedIn let's go and get that one oh, I haven't got that open so let's go LinkedIn and I'll just show you how to find your um, your LinkedIn profile address as well if you go to profile and then view profile scroll down to the bottom of this first section it says public profile and then there's a link that's the link that you want so copy go back into Google Mail and terms in Fox Davies because I've got a, a vanity URL what they, they call a vanity a customized URL for LinkedIn which means it doesn't have loads of silly numbers in and as you can see that the text to display their Tams in Fox Davis all is one word that's the part of my vanity URL that's the last part there so okay so there we go so I've now got my I've got my email signature I've got please connect with me on and I've got nice little logo and then the text link 
Okay, so then what you need to do is make sure you scroll down and save changes. And let's have a look what it looks like. Click Compose Mail. Ta-da! There we go. So that is my Gmail signature with my social media icons in it and the link to go and connect with me in those places. Um, just to note, these are all coming up in like a kind of purple colour at the moment. That's because I have been to those pages, so that's a followed link colour. Um, when If I emailed you now with the signature, you'd get them in blue, like these links up here. Okay, so that's Tamsin Fox Davis from TamsinFoxDavis.com. If you want more um, hints, tips, uh, information on small business marketing and even a free marketing plan, go over to TamsinFoxDavis.com and sign up there. I'll see you soon with more tips. Bye.